It's your boy, Nerdy White Guy. Nerdy, nerdy white I'll guy. Put you in a motherfucking coffin, my oh, guy. He's so dope. Nerdy white guy. Nerdy, nerdy white guy. My first got answered, dude. <laughs> this is white, dude. Nerdy white guy. Nerdy, nerdy white guy. We're gonna get this shit started, though. Nerdy, nerdy gang. Nerdy, nerdy gang. What's going down, everybody? <laughs> so tonight, I am actually gonna go over my ghost hunting equipment and give some tips on uh, paranormal investigation in a hole. You know, I just kind of want to give you guys a little insight on what I like to do for fun. I haven't investigated in about a year and a half, but the itch is coming back and I'm starting to get all my equipment out. So I thought that I would share it with you guys. So first things first, we're going to go over the things that you must have when you go out investigating. Number one thing is a flashlight. You got to have a flashlight. Uh, it's dark. You know, you don't want to bust your ass. Second thing you absolutely must have is a digital recorder. Now, I got this one for around 30, 40 bucks. You want to make sure that it has a USB uh a slot so you can plug in your USB to the computer so you can upload all your files or that they have an SD card um, I've I made the mistake myself man I bought like five of the ones that didn't have any of those and now all my evidence that I got on those are actually stuck on the goddamn recorders and I don't even know where those recorders are at now so that's just wasted time basically so make sure you get one with the USB drive or an SD card it will save you a lot of heartache the other thing that you must have, man, is just have your cell phone. You can take pictures with it. You can see kind of where you're at on, on a map sometimes, depending on where you're at. If you're inside of a building, it doesn't really matter. But if you're out in the woods, going to see some haunted towns or anything like that, because we got a bunch of those here in Washington, you know, you can kind of see where you're at with this motherfucker, you know. So this thing can be a lifesaver. You can also maybe call, you know, if something does happen. You know, you want to make sure you are safe. Number two thing, or number three, well, now we're on four, that you must have, man, is a buddy. Make sure you always bring a buddy with you. Um, I go on investigations. I've gone on a few investigations by myself, but it is super sketchy because if something does happen to you, we're not even talking about paranormal stuff, just normal stuff. You break your leg, you're walking, you end up cutting yourself, just something you can't handle on your own and you're going to need somebody to help you. That's why they're there, man. So make sure you always have a buddy. Now let's get down to some more of the fun equipment now. So this is called a Mel Reader. Now the inventor of this actually named it after his daughter. Uh, he invented it so he could make contact with his daughter. What it does, it, it actually reads electric magnetic fields. So you can pull this out and it'll show you like the milligas on here. Um, if I had the batteries in here, like I told you guys, I'm just getting everything set out now. Some of these have batteries in them, some of them don't, so I'll be able to show you. But yeah, and make sure that you get one that has a temperature probe. It is very important to know what the temperature is around you. And if you get a crazy temperature drop, you know, so you can document that. Make sure you get one of these, man. They are freaking dope. Another thing that I got that this is probably one of my favorite things that I have, y'all. This is, <laughs> dude, seriously, this is called the Ovulus 4. Now they're on like Ovulus 6, 7, something like that. I like this one. It's just big. It's not like, it's not completely, you know, like the new ones. They're pretty small. This one feels good in your hand. And when you turn it on, basically what it does is it gives you, it uh, reads the different, you know, parameters out here, different pressures, all that stuff, and actually inputs words. So by theory, you could talk to a ghost, tell them, hey, you can mess with this thing, and it will spit out words for you. So basically, when you click it on, you press the ABC button on here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you press that. You press it, it's gonna spit out like two to three words right off the bat, and that's it calibrating yeah. itself. Chance. And it's got like a really crazy voice on it so it's super scary when you're out there <laughs> even with somebody you hear like devil and it, dude it just gives you the creepiest fucking <laughs> the creepiest voice man and you, like sometimes it'll startle you just by hearing it so yeah this is called the ovulus four man and this thing is super dope it's a good visual and audible or you know audio so yeah that's fucking dope 
Now we're gonna combine these two together, man. So these are called spirit boxes. Now for you guys, you guys have probably, uh, if you're watching this, you've probably watched some sort of ghost adventures or anything like this. These are the things that actually scan through the frequencies through the radio. You can press the button and it will actually scan it through. So this one, this has battery. So let's actually get it started for you. And this is a really cool one. This is the Spirit Box 11. Basically what you do is you press sweep rate to speed it up. I like to have it around 150 and then you just press it. And it will sweep through all the channels at, it says 150 uh, a millisecond. So that is flying through there, guys. You know, so if you get any voices that string along together, you know, that's kind of weird. You know, and it shouldn't be doing that because no radio will do that. So we'll turn that off. So yeah, guys, this is the, uh, which one is this? This is the Spirit Box 7, so SB7, and this is the SB11. You can see the size difference. This is the one that Ghost Adventures use most often. They usually connect a um, speaker to it. Because honestly, the speaker on here fucking sucks. So you have to have a, another speaker so you can actually hear if there's actually any voices coming through or not. These two things are super handy. This one is super dope because it comes with a temperature gauge. Uh, so it can tell you if the temperature has dropped up to 5 degrees or increased up to 5 degrees. And then it's also got a pretty cool light on it that you can just, you know. So it is pretty dope. And, yeah, those, those two things are some of my favorite things also, man. Now we're going to get into some kind of visual stuff here. So this is called a REM pod. Now what this thing does is you pull this antenna up. You set it down, you turn it on, and you just leave it alone. You put a camera on it. Oh, let's put it so you guys can see it. Put a camera on it, and you basically ask questions. And if anything comes near the antenna or this thing, this thing will start going off. Now, me personally, the setting that I like to have on this, I don't like it to beep. I like it to be silent when it goes off, unless I am away. If I'm away investigating, then I like to have it on because then it's like, oh, there's something over there. We got to go over there and we got to start recording stuff, you know. So just keep that in mind, guys. This thing does have two different settings. It also does read temperature, I believe, as well. So, yeah, this is the Run Pod. Super dope, super handy. And something that kind of piggybacks off that, I actually got this one because we were dealing with a child ghost. Now, this is a teddy bear that does basically the same thing as the Run Pod. You know, you turn it on, you set it there. If anything comes close to it, this little guy lights up, and he lights up pretty bright as well. Um, the only thing I got to say is I wish the backpack wasn't so flimsy and that it actually kind of sat up on its own because you got to really, like, mess with it to get it sit on its own. But overall, this thing is awesome. Um, once I get my hard drive from the laptop that got fucked up from me from the water, uh... Well, my daughter, but I'll blame myself. <coughs> then I can get all the evidence and just kind of show you guys that stuff. But with all this stuff, guys, we are going to end up doing an actual ghost hunt. And I'm going to record. I'm going to use the camera that I'm recording this with. I'm going to use this other equipment that I'm about to show you so we can actually start doing ghost hunts. And I think it's going to be super fun. And that's only going to be on my Patreon. So keep that in mind, y'all. So let's keep it going. It's just a regular GoPro. This is the old as fuck. Keep in mind, I I don't really use a GoPro that much except to show how dark it is in the space. I usually like to strap this to my chest so then I can kind of give a different angle. Dude, look how fucking dark this place was. It was dark as shit. You know, and this is the Hero 3. So that just shows how far, how far back I bought this thing. <laughs> you know, so we got that. Now, these two cameras, they are very important. Now, these are what we call full-spectrum cameras. Now, full-spectrum cameras, basically, they just see more light. They see more UV light. So, when you take a digital still, like I got this one, this is my digital still, it will, will take a still, and usually it shows up like pinkish or whatever. So, you guys that have seen Ghost Adventurers, Ghost Hunters, when you see the pink lighting or, you know, like the bluish-purple lighting, it is actually from these cameras. Now, what makes these super cool is that's the people think that ghosts 
paranormal stuff, they like to hide out in different lightings so that we can see more. We got some technology that helps us do so. And this thing, this is probably my, like, dude, besides the ovulus, I really love this camcorder. This camcorder is super dope, and it is my eyes when it is pitch black. This thing you flip on, man, and this actually is infrared and full spectrum, so I can see at night. And I got some lights that actually attach to this, so I can see up to 50 feet out in front of me. Otherwise, it's only about 15, 20 feet. But, and then I got a fog light, but I don't like using it because it just blows out the entire area. And you can't see it with your actual eyes, you know, so, but you can't see it with this. And some, you know, sometimes too much light is just too much light, you know, so. I try not to use the big old fog light, so I usually use my other one, and it gets me about 50 feet out, and that seems to be good enough so I don't bump into shit, and if something does run in front of me, or, you know, some orbs or anything happen, she is sure to catch it, man, and I love it. It's got a touch screen. Um, it fits, uh, I want to say it fits two SD cards. Oh, it fits an SD card and a mini SD, so that is really good to know. And it shoots in 1080p, high definition. It's not a 4K one. You don't really need it when you're using infrared anyways because there's only so good that the infrared camera can get anyways. And always make sure you got your cords, chargers, SD cards, batteries, man. Batteries are super important, man. We be running out of them sometimes. And we got a damn train coming by. What do you know? So, yeah, and um, one more thing that you that I recommend having, here it is, that I recommend having, man, is this. It is a power block. It's so you can charge some of your shit while you're out there. You know what I'm saying? You just connect this, make sure it's charged when you leave, and then mine has a flashlight, so you also got a good flashlight, but I got some pretty nice flashlights when I go out there. Other stuff that you can have, man, there is so much that you can invest into this. Like me, I have... Uh, I have a DVR system, you know, so I can actually connect six cameras. So when I'm doing inside stuff, I never use those outdoors, but inside I will use them sometimes because then you can just get all the angles. They are wired, so I got to make sure I tape the wires down so we don't trip over them. But we get a lot of angles that way, man. And when I go investigate, and I usually have at least two other people with me. Um, so I've gone alone a couple of times, man. I wouldn't recommend it. But there's going to be times where I'm sure you guys will actually see me go by myself. There's a certain cemetery that I like to go to where I've got some crazy evidence. And I'm going to take you guys there. And I might end up having to do that by myself. Um, and if I do, then that is what it is. But I'm going to try not to because having the buddy is the way to go. But as always, guys, I love you, nerdy gang. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Just want to show you guys a little bit of my nerdy side, man, because a lot of people are like, what makes you a nerd, bro? You seem like a cool-ass dude. Well, this is one of them. <laughs> you know, there's many more, but this is just a hobby that has stuck with me since I was about 16 years old. I've just accumulated some shit, and yeah, dude. If you guys enjoy that, stay tuned. We're going to do some more ghost hunting shit, man. Uh, it will load to Patreon first, and it's going to be like weeks ahead of what I'm going to load it to YouTube. But I am going to load it to YouTube at some point. And then if I do small, you know, little EVP sessions and stuff, I might have those on here. We will just see. But for now, most of my ghost hunt stuff is going to be on Patreon, and that's not going to happen for a little bit. I got three locations in the works right now. Um, one is called Cabbage Patch. That is actually in Snohomish, Washington. Another one is the Grand Army Republican Cemetery. That is in Seattle, Washington. And then we got Arlington High School, the old Arlington High School here, not that far away from my house up here in Arlington. So we're going to try to get those out. I've sent some emails. I'm about to go into Cabbage Patch tomorrow and actually talk with the management. If I got to pay to get in there, you know, I'll pay 100, 150 bucks, you know, because it's going to give us some great content. It's going to be dope. So, yeah, guys, love you guys so much. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that shit. Let's get it, y'all.